Okay, um, you said something I forgot about seeing the young guys starting to make plays and stuff. I got to feel good. Oh, yeah, without a doubt, without a doubt, because you know how hard they work and you know how bad they want it for themselves, you know? And um, whenever, you know, I remember being a young guy, you know, being able to make a uh, big player or something impact the game, whether it was – um, you know, like a QB hit or something or whatever it may be. Um, it just, it just means a lot to you, and uh, it's like dreams coming, dreams coming true. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, everybody's trying to put their finger on how the defense has been coming together. What, what, how have you been seeing it in the I, I think it's a combination of a lot of things. You know, um, getting more reps together. You know, getting more confidence in the calls and uh, coaches trusting us more to you know make some nice plays and putting us in the right position. So uh, I think it's a lot of hard work being done by everybody across the board and just making it a um, effort to put some good defense on the field. And even when we do have a good showing, there's always some things out there that we think we can get better at. And then guys got to step up with uh, with Eric going down. Mm -hmm, yep. How y'all looking? Yeah, yeah. Without that, always sad to see a teammate go down. You know, second um, starting DB we had go down this this year. You know, with um, Isaiah now Eric and uh, two guys are crucial parts of this. Not only the defense but the whole team. So um, definitely gonna miss 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 E and uh, wish him you know well in his recovery. But um, you know we definitely got a lot of confidence in the next man up. Um, I, I don't know how how we're gonna play it in the back end, but we got some guys that's very capable to step up. And um, the good thing about it is e, Eric was the kind of guy to pour into young guys, you know, and uh, for moments like this and and even when, you know, they will sub out and do things, you know, he he one of the more vocal, you know, active leaders on the defense to make sure everybody on a thing on the on the um on the detail. So um, you know, coach have him prepared, but um he definitely as a leader, you know, have have whoever gonna be on the field prepared. Does that offense look like y'all old offense? Like our old offense, yeah. like Shanahan offense? Um, you know, he got a style of offense he like to play, you know, but, you know, every, every offense, you know, you got different pieces each year. And um, every, every year is different, you know. Every year is different. Everybody always trying to evolve, you know, as a, um, you know, them as an offense, us as a defense, whatever it may be. So um, we definitely just got to, you know, focus on the games that we have in our breakdown, you know, this year and focus, and focus on the players they have this year and just try to become, you know, be the best defense versus that. I asked her on this question, and I'd love to know your opinion too. I know Arthur was talking the other day, and he said we're playing. He kind of essentially said like this team is playing smarter football. Mm -hmm. and, and I was just curious, kind of how you see the defense kind of taking ownership of, of playing what he was saying, smarter football. Um, you know, in that case, I feel like you know, do, doing the job right. You know, doing 100 percent, making the plays when they're there. You know, um, not making bonehead mistakes or you know, emotional things like late hits on the quarterback or you know, out of bounds things. There's been times we've been close, but just pulling up. You know, and um, and you know, guys making plays when they're there. You know, what I'm saying like AJ uh, interception last last game. You know, that's a big play for us. But he gets three guys by the quarterback. And uh, if any of us hit him, it could be a flag and take it away. You know what I'm saying? So things like that, I'm sure, what Coach mean by being smart and having emotional control or something. And then also just being on the details, you know. And uh, it's a certain way Coach P's like things to be ran, and it's a reason why. So understanding the reason why we're doing certain things and why he calls certain things is, is crucial. And I also wanted to ask you, um, Dean was kind of talking about Boye's role kind of expanding in this defense kind of being the, the quarterback of the defense mm -hmm. they get everybody lined up. Um, how do you kind of see him taking ownership of that role and how it's evolved over the season? Uh, yeah, I definitely see him taking um, taking ownership of it. And anytime anybody asks me about him, you know, I got a number of good things to say, and that's how I truly feel. And uh, he, he a guy that just plays, you know, 100% all the time but know what's going on, you know, and uh, he handles a lot and he don't come off the field, you know, so to be able to – Run here, run there, get the call, get it relayed to everybody. That's a lot of that's a lot of stamina, regardless. So he's in great shape, you know what I'm saying. So and the dude is just really seizing this seizing this opportunity. Seizing the opportunity is I've been with Foyer since he got to the Falcons, and just to see him grow and challenge his his own self to be better each year is something that I definitely uh, admire about him, and uh, I know that the best is, is yet for him. Yeah, I mean, what other examples are there kind of of, of you seeing his his growth? I mean, I know it's kind of interesting. I th always think his story is very interesting. He started out as a college safety and then transitioned to the linebacker position. Mm -hmm. The guy that you met in 2018, like what's the difference between the guy you now know and what he was like? Uh, just, you know, like you said, more, exter more experience, more mature, more confidence, and um, more swag, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> He, you know, he got his own, you know, his own little um, ugly gang line that they be, you know what I'm saying? I know they sell 
um, Christmas attire, man. So I'm gonna plug in, plug him in right now. Y'all gonna support Foyer and Ugly Game, man. But yeah, so you know, he's the biggest thing I've seen from young Foyer to now is just he used to wear these huge cleats, man. He used to wear these big ugly cleats, big oh man. But now he got some nice, nice cleats, man. It's just he just it's just look better, feel better. He moving way faster. <laughs> but nah, man, he been he been a great teammate. Yeah.